Mm-hmm. Sonic Warrior is back with a new update for the sample track. Let's see if it can chop some samples now. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we select the track. I'll use track number one right here, and then I will select a sample. So I'm gonna go into the sample pool, so function, and this button right here is the sample pool, and then I will select sample. And from here, I will go and select something from the sample pool that is in here. I have samples that I will have in the description box just in case you are interested. But uh, right now, let me go ahead and find what I, I need to find. I found them. Uh, you can also go over here and then I will select a sample, preview, whatever. I will go over to something simple. I like that. So I will go to that sample, select it, and then we'll select chop from chop. It will do what it needs to do. The processing part is actually faster than it was before. As you can see right here, it's not taking as long. Uh, what I'm going to do though, to shorten it, I will do some auto slicing. So I'll hit okay, auto slice. And then I won't really worry about the details of the chop. course so that works for me and I'll just go to next uh, so let's go to next and then you'll see a new option where it says create drum kit so you that's what you will do you will create a drum kit and once you do you will assign all the pads accordingly and let's go ahead and do that so it'll be just like the process on the SP 404 uh, mark 2 and everything is there keep on doing it until everything is done uh, and and unlike last time or whatnot, uh, you get all your slices. It'll say assign complete, then hit next. Let's go hit next. And then we'll go to save it into current project. All right. And then hit OK. I'll just go ahead and hit OK here. I'm not going to rename shit. And then uh, you would just go ahead and hit OK and select the drum kit. And from here, I would just go into the drum kit. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the drum kit. Let's go down to one here and drum kit. And then you'll see the drum kit right here. So uh, from here, you can edit some different parts. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, select this drum kit. And uh, let's go back right here. Let's go two, one. All right, let's go ahead and select this drum kit or edit. Oh, you'll see instrument parameters, kit parameters. So I'll just go into instrument parameters here. And then I will hit this button right that correlates with this part of the screen. And then I'll go over and then you can see that you can do reverses. You can do different slopes. You can set the, the volume you can pitch. And most importantly, it sets all the choke groups to one. So everything is chopped up in that sample. So that's cool, right? So the next thing I will probably do is just go ahead and just hit clear and hit save or, or whatnot. And you know, everything should be fine from this point on. Uh, but we'll just go back out and uh, then we'll go in here and you'll see it's right there for your recording. So the next thing you would do is just set up, you know, your, your length of your recording. So let's go ahead and edit note length. And there's another feature that I noticed that is on here. So, so the length is 16, but that means 16 beats. So let's go up to 64 beats. And that will be four bars. So let's go ahead and set that up. And I also noticed that if you select a note length or whatnot, uh, you have uh, micro increments. So that might be, we'll find out if that's their way of doing what you call like swing. So I'm gonna just do one sixteenths for this because it's really simple stuff. And then I will exit out and then I will show you another feature because I didn't show you uh, in tempo. You can go to metronome and that is a new feature too as well. And I can set metronome on the volume. Make sure that you have it on a four count or whatnot. I think a four count is about the right amount of, of what you want for your count. <laughs> you don't want a one count. I just know that. Let me go ahead and set the tempo to like nine, uh, 90 BPM because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and then we'll go back into home. All right, so let's go ahead and record it. Three, four. And I recorded one part wrong. 
wrong. That was too early in the press. And now we here we are. And I will turn off this annoying metronome. It's as simple as that. For so the next thing I'll do is select some drums and then lay them down. All right, so I have everything loaded in here and this is Let's go ahead and lay down these drums here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, one track at a time, but I'm gonna press record and then choose shot record. And then uh, I'll go into the details of why I chose that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and press play. So there's a couple of things you probably noticed uh, with this new recording here. Uh, one thing that I kind of manipulated global swing, and what I'm gonna do is select a, a drum track. And from the drum track, we'll just go in here and then I'll press stop so, because I need to be able to have access to it. So I'm in a length and note. So once you hit this pencil sign twice and on the respected track or whatever clip, then you're able to set up you know, different time signatures. So yes, you have time signatures in here. I don't know if it was like that from the beginning, but yeah, you have time signatures that you can manipulate and get that kind of a bounce. I still want it to be global, but you know, having it on a respected track is cool. It's just that if you have it set at 132, then you need to set uh, it to double the length of that. So it needs to be, instead of 64 beats, it needs to be 128 if I do my math right. So yeah, just know that the hi-hats were kind of off. So that's one thing I will say, you know, now it's kind of obvious. So you can hear that. So let's go in here. Uh, you can adjust the, the hi-hat, like you would just go in there and uh, select the hi-hat or whatnot. Uh, I think you have to do it in record. So I would just do that on one, erase the second one or whatever. At least you have the ability to adjust the notes, you know, and I have the matter of fact, let's go ahead and set the, the micro recording uh, back to initial here. And I believe that is on. Yes, it is very tiny, but uh, nonetheless, I, I can deal with that if it was in my face. So let's go ahead and initiate the uh, timing here and hit yes, done. And then we'll just listen to the overall track. So it kind of fixed itself a little bit. There we go. So it's on, it's on point now. Boom bap is possible now on here. We can finally get some type of bop along with other styles of tracks that you might like to do swing with. Tell me how you feel about the Sonicware sample track now. I am actually happy that they added this update. It was one thing that I complained about and then the other thing, you know, I found a workaround. The fact that we are able to chop samples and then have them into a drum track or a whatnot, you know, not over utilizing the other tracks and just using just the drum track and it has choke groups makes it a whole lot easier for us hip hop heads. I know other people, they did their fantastic videos on that, but over here we are hip hop based. So now guys, if you are a hip hop producer or whatnot, uh, you have access to doing the exact same things you would do on other sampling devices. The other thing that I enjoy about it is being able to kind of dictate the swing uh, per track. However, I think Global Swing will make it a whole lot easier. And you know, you have a menu that you call the tempo menu. I think it would be great if you could put Global Swing on that part and the workflow will be phenomenal at that point. You guys done a great job, Sonicware, and I greatly appreciate everything that you did. Let me know if you want me to do a full on tutorial on this, because I know that hip hop heads want that from me. I'm just gonna ask. 
and make sure you check out the links in the description box for all the samples used in this video. To the right of me, we have more videos that you should check out. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe and don't be afraid to join the channel.